you doing, guys? Hey, Don Tom, congratulations. Thank you. Um, after a slow start, your offense picked it up. What turned it around as far as you're concerned, especially in the fourth quarter? Yeah, we played a lot better in the second half. Um, we just couldn't get the drives going, and obviously it wasn't very good on third down. Um, you know, we just got into a little tempo stuff in the second half and played a little bit better. So it was a great, uh, great win. Happy for our team. And, uh, you know, just a great, great game. So proud of all the guys, coaches, everyone. Amazing. Yeah, it was great. He's made so many big catches, and uh, I saw he got the one foot in, and then I just saw it up on the big screen one time. And uh, he's got great hands and just a great um, sense about where he's at on the field. So, I mean, he's, he's made so many big plays for us, and this was huge. And, uh, you know, without that, we don't win. So it was an uh, incredible play. I'm always looking for him at some point. I mean, he's a big part of what we do, so he's never not part of what we're doing. He's a huge part of what we're doing always. And Tom, Tom, two quick questions. First yep. of all, how important was that pass to Brandon Cooks early in the game, your first connection yeah. to him for your confidence? And then secondly, that drive of the last drive of the first half, how important was that? That was good. Yeah, Brandon made a bunch of big plays today, and uh, he was huge for us. And, you know, we've talked a lot, and I have a lot of confidence and trust in him. He's an incredible player, and uh, it was big to get that one before the half. We needed that because we needed a spark, and we needed to come in halftime with something to kind of get us going for the second half, and uh, that, was, that was a huge drive. Tom, speaking of that second half, when you prep all week, and you know how much Rob Gronkowski affects yeah. coverage, when you guys internally knew he was officially out, talk about the yeah. adjustments, you and Josh. Kind of, Did you have to throw a lot of what you yeah. guys worked on out and kind of design it up as you go? Yeah, Josh did such a great job of um, – you know, figuring out what we needed to do and how we needed to get it done, and he, he made it happen. So um, it's hard when you lose such a critical part of your team and offense, and hopefully he's okay. It was a tough shot he took, and, uh, you know, he's as tough as they come. So hopefully we can – hopefully he feels better soon. Tom, this is the first time where the offense has struggled a bit, figured things out a little bit, yeah. and then fourth quarter, a couple of touchdowns. Yeah. It's happened in Super Bowls, AFC Championships. Yeah. Can you talk about the process of it's not over, learning, adjusting, yeah. and figuring it out? In, I know it's not easy. It looks easy, but it's not easy. Yeah, points are, points are um, you know, a product of playing really good football down after down. And um, we finally could get the field on our side and get some field positions, some short fields, and turn, you know, the one score into two scores. And it's really, you know, that's why you play all four quarters, too. It's, you know, the game's never over after the halftime, and, you got to go to the end, and there's some things that we're good at, and other things we haven't been very good at. And you know, I think going a little faster, and our tempo has been really good for us over the course of the season. And uh, you know, we needed to make some plays there. We did, and the guys, you know, certainly at the receiver position, and all the skilled guys made a lot of great plays out there tonight. Tom, how would you describe the emotions of the week, starting with Wednesday when your practice ended the way it yeah. ended, to the way this game ended here today? Yeah, it's pretty. Um, never had anything like it. Well, I've had a couple crazy injuries, but this was pretty crazy. And uh, it, they come up and you just deal with them. And I wasn't quite quite sure how I was going to do, uh, you know, on Wednesday, Wednesday night, and then uh, Thursday, wasn't sure. And then Friday, gained a little confidence. And then Saturday, was trying to figure out what we could do. And you know, Sunday, you know, try to come out here and make it happen. So I just want the guys to, you know, we all put a lot out there. And I mean, this was a little injury at the end of the day. It's certainly a big part of what a quarterback does. I mean, I've had a lot worse injuries than this, but if this was on my left hand, I wouldn't. I could care less. But it's based on where it was, and you know, we had to deal with it. Hey, Tom. Um, two questions. How much did the hand impact anything that you did out there today? And can you just describe the wrap that you had on it? And then my second question is: Did the comeback look in the Super Bowl last year? Could you feel it on the sidelines that you know, since you were able to accomplish that, that the team had confidence you'd be able to come back in this one as well? I think, you know, we, we always have confidence. We really do. I mean, whether it's 
the beginning of the game or toward the end. I mean, it's never really over until it's over with this team. So, you know, I was proud of the way we fought. It's a mentally tough team, and we need a lot of mental toughness today, and we found a way to dig deep and get it done, even, you know, on offense without one of our very best players. So it was a great, great win. So Ben, you just about your hands. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, I'd rather not do anything with my hand, but it just, I couldn't do, you know, that's kind of what I had to deal with. So I just wrapped it up and tried to cover it up and see if, uh, you know, go out there and play and be effective. Did it impact at all? I'd rather not wear it, but um, I think it sounds kind of arrogant to say, oh, yeah, it bothered me when we had a pretty good game. So I wouldn't say that. Uh, Tom, can you take us through the third and 18 throw to Danny? Doesn't that sound arrogant if I said that? <laughs> it's like when Tiger Woods said like that was my C game and he won the tournament. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, can you take us through the third and 18 throw That's to Amendola? Third and 18? Yeah. It was a good play. Danny got behind him. It was uh, two safeties, and Danny was kind of running through them, and I tried to throw it you know, where, where he could get it, and he made a hell of a catch. So it was an unbelievable catch. And big play in the game, I mean, I was – Ended up being a huge drive for us, and without that, you know, we don't go down and score that touchdown. There are also a lot of rumors uh, about stitches. You had four stitches or seven or ten. Just how many stitches did you have in your hand uh, from this injury? I think we should keep that a secret a little bit longer. Okay. No, it's not, it's not that bad. Yeah. Hey, Enough Tom. Enough to bother some. Sorry. But what's hey, up? can I see your hand? Just <laughs> can you see it? But up there? All right. Um, 40 years old, you're going back to your eighth Super Bowl. Um, there's guys who might have opportunities after this season. There's people who are heading in different directions. Does this take kind of a value? Your kids are older, your family older. They might be yeah. able to appreciate it differently. Does any of that enter into it, Tom? I think for all of us it does because, you know, you, you – you know, you cherish these moments and opportunities, and I know we've had quite a few of them, which we've been very blessed to do, and it's just been an unbelievable run. And I think everyone should be really proud of what we accomplished. This is a different team than last year's team, and, you know, it didn't look good at 2-2, two and two, and, you know, you just keep showing up to work every day, and we sit in these chairs, and Coach Belichick gets up here, and he demands a lot out of us, and he tries to get the most out of us every day, and it's not always great. You know, sometimes it's pretty average, and then, you know, you're just trying to get better and better, and get to the point where you can make, you know, the fourth quarter of a game and, you know, try to play well enough to get yourself into the next one. So um, just proud of our team, proud of what we accomplished. It's pretty amazing. And uh, proud of this team, you know, great leadership. And um, it's just a, it's been a great year. It'll be really great if we take care of business in a couple of weeks. So we'll see. Yeah, Tom, I realize when you arrived here in 2000, you had a lot of confidence. But if somebody told you then, that you would win three out of four early in your career, and then 13 years later, you'd have a chance to do that a second time. What would you have thought? I would have thought you were crazy to think that, or I was crazy to think that. Um, this has just all been, you know, I guess it's my life, so I'm living it, and it feels very natural and normal just because, you know, I wake up every day, and I feel very much the same as I did when I walked in here 18 years ago. I really do. And uh, it's a great privilege to play here, and it's a great privilege to play in the NFL. And... Um, I try to represent the team well. I try to represent my family. I try to do things the right way. And uh, I'm very blessed. So I could never imagine getting, you know, the kind of, uh, you know, team achievements we've done and had. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone can ever take those for granted. These are pretty amazing times for all of us, fans included, players, coaches, everyone. It's very special. Tom, you, you talked about sort of the craziness of midweek. Was there ever a, a point where you doubted at all whether you could actually play this game, or is it just a matter of how effective you'd be able to be? Yeah, I wasn't sure on, on Wednesday. Um, I certainly didn't think. Um, I, I definitely – I thought out of all the plays, my season can't end on a handoff in practice. We didn't come this far to end on a handoff. And uh, – just one of those things. And uh, yeah, so I, I came in the training room and just, you know, was looking at my hand and wasn't quite sure what happened. But, and, uh, you know, everyone did a great job kind of getting me ready. And 
um, the training staff and the doctors and Alex, and it was a great team effort. So without that, I definitely wouldn't be playing. Last question, Karen Green. Hi, Karen. Hi. Uh, is this something that you'll still have to keep on top of for the Super Bowl, or by the time the Super Bowl comes, you think it'll kind of be a, a distant memory? Yeah, I think as soon as I get the stitches out, you know, then, then I think it'll be good to go. So based on everything. How soon might that happen? Pretty soon. Think? Pretty soon. I think uh, hopefully this week, midweek, and then uh, I can just get out there and just get normal treatment like I always do and be ready to go. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.